Oh, we're on. We're recording. My gosh, I haven't done this in so long. I don't know what I'm doing. So please bear with me. But I told y'all I would do it, so I'm doing it. Today we are going to make a mandala dragonfly. And uh, I got this idea here a few weeks ago, and I was going to color it all. And every well, this is about as far as I've gotten. But it works. And we, this morning on Melody Lane's, uh, she asked for tips from us where we could teach other people tips. And that was one of the things that I discovered when I was making this, that I had not been shown how to do it. So I kind of had to figure it out on my own, which is fine with me. You know, I don't, I don't mind learning new things on my own. I'm constantly doing it, but I like seeing other people do it first, you know, and learn from their mistakes like you're going to learn from mine because it's been a little while since I made this design. But we're going to do all of that right after this. <laughs> Okay, now this is uh, meant to be done on a Cricut in Design Space, and I named mine Dragonfly Mandala, but we may do a butterfly or something like that to teach you. I just want to show you a few things on what I did on this one, so that in case I forget later to mention it on the one we make, you will know. And I'm putting this on my Patreon file. For all of those that follow me on Patreon, and I will put the, the new one that we make, I'll do it also for you to have. Okay, now let me get my glasses adjusted. Oh, I forgot to clean them. That's going to make it rough. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this, but I promised today I would, would show you what I was talking about if you were watching Melody's. Uh, video and I, maybe I can get her to link this video so or request that she link it so you'll know what I was trying to show like we discussed in the video this morning it is much much easier just to do a video to show someone than trying to tell them so when you pull this design up if you look over here you see a lot of little eyes those are things that I have hidden from where I sliced it and I'm going to uh, that group one is just a 12 by 12 in case I decide to do it on a larger paper so I'll keep that one hidden but I'll instead of throwing these away I thought they were kind of cool too so I kept them Okay, you know, in design space, they have these animals that are mandala designs that you can put on t-shirts or uh, anything, you know, do it with iron-on or vinyl or infusible ink sheets. And so I left these as cuts. But then this one I left as a draw because I thought that would be kind of neat. And then I thought, well, that's the one I need for the inside. So I think I duplicated this one. 
but um, I'm going to go ahead and hide them back so I don't forget to leave them hidden. But I wanted you to know they're there in case you want to do something other than the uh, mandala dragonfly. And the first one that you pull up, if you notice, it is just under an 8x8 eight eight square. In order for you to see that, you'll have to look up here. And I did that because I'm doing it in infusible ink pens. Let's see if I can put that image on the screen real quick. Yeah, I think I can. I'm going to do mine in the pens that I've had sitting in my drawer forever. Because in the very beginning, something was said that you need to iron them on immediately after you put it onto your laser paper. Laser printer paper. And I knew this would take me longer than a day or whatever in that I would be having to put it in the drawer a few times before I'd ever get it finished. Well, there goes my camera. Let's switch back to the display of the design space. But I put that other one in here for you. And if you'll notice on the layers, for those of you that are familiar with design space, you do need to attach it or it will print separate. This has just been grouped together so that if you make it a different size, then they will both change together. But if you want to actually print them out on paper, drawing them, and you could change them to cut, but I, I don't know if I'd want this design and to have to weed it. But you could. But if you wanted it to uh, to draw it on a 12 by 12, maybe put it in the back of a shadow box or inside a picture frame or something like that, uh, and you want it together, you need to attach these when you pull them up as this group. And that's the 12 by 12 size. And I should say, actually, it's 11 by 11.4 uh, by 11.4. Okay, but today we're going to leave this up because I may have to refer to it. And remember, if you're doing two things, two design space things and you're going back and forth, you don't have to open up another design space like I used to do. You just have to go to File, New Window. Now, I like to have mine full screen. So there we are. And I look at my screen and, and my arrow is a lot smaller than what I'm seeing on my screen. I might need to enlarge it for the next video. Goodness, did not realize that. Okay, but we're going to go to a new project. So I'm clicking on it. Lordy, I just, I can't stand it. I got to go to the pointer right now. Uh, change pointer. Uh, I'll do it another day. That's another video that I could do for you. Like you haven't already seen 10,000 of them. Anyway, we're going to go to images. And we are going to select, we're going to search through all of them. And that just reminds me, i got to get my keyboard down here. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. Mandela. And we really want it to be one that draws. I chose this one last time. This one, I believe. That's an image set. See these animals? All they've done is put a dog on top of a mandala. So that's something you could do on your own. See right there? That's just a mandala with an eagle cut out of it. Okay, let's see. We want to go with something simple, something intricate. If you know me at all, 
Same with these letters, guys. It's done the same way. Took me a while to figure it out, but I got it done. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's do this one. Or that one. This one, that one, any, mini, mini, mo. Put that tiger in it. It's whatever. Okay, we're going to do this one. Okay, now we need to, I'm going to insert it and go on back over here. I want an animal. How about a butterfly? Since it doesn't dragonfly, we'll do a butterfly. Ooh, it started raining again. I want y'all to say a little prayer, give some positive thoughts for the people near the Guadalupe. Uh, Canyon Lake has flooded, and then I saw pictures yesterday where Kima is flooding, which is in the Bay, Houston Bay area, and uh, highly populated areas of Texas. So please, please, please keep those people in your heart and hope nobody is damaged from it you know houses and stuff can be replaced people no won't happen so let's make sure no one is damaged from all this flooding okay we're going to use this one now when i insert this one you'll see right off the bat it's a cut one but that's okay what I'm going to do is size it inside here. We need to get the screen where you see everything. So let me shrink it just a little bit. Move my mandala up. Mandala? Mandala. My students would always say, oh, it's mandala, it's mandala. Oh, I don't know that. It could have been mandala. Could have been intended to be mandala. Okay, I'm trying to put it right inside these points. Or I could just select these and go up here to the top, align, and center. Okay, does that look pretty good? Yeah, it does. So we're going to leave it at that. Now we're going to select both of them, go down here to the bottom, and we're going to click on Slice. If for some reason this mandala is more than one piece in the drawing section, because this is a drawing one, you can tell by the size of the lines, or you can look right over here where it says Draw. And this one is a cut one. But if for some reason they were more than two things, you could not slice them. You can only slice two things at a time. So if you were doing an initials or a name, you would need to make that word into an image by welding it together. Okay? Might do another video on that. I have this whole list, guys. I'll show it to you in a little bit since I'm on the display screen. Okay, here we go. It's sliced. Ooh, it got rid of a lot of stuff, though. So this one's not going to work. Oh, my goodness. No, we can't do that. What did it do? Oh. Oh, let's go see. Look, it got rid of all of this. So, I wonder if it's going to work if we take and make this a draw. So, we go up here to cut. Up here at the top, where you see that little purple thing flying around. Turn it into draw. which I didn't like doing that last time, and I'm going to change the color on it. 
I like purple, but we're going to do this butterfly. Blue, maybe. Okay, blue. I don't think this, this one's going to work. Let's go recenter them. But it might. I'm willing to make a mistake so you can learn. We're going to center it again. They're still selected. Whoops. No, they weren't. Okay. And slots. It did it again. Did it again. So this mandala is not going to work. And even the butterfly doesn't come out pretty anymore unless you piece it together. So we've got to go find another mandala. We may just go use that one I used before. Okay, mandala. Oh, I got rid of the butterfly though too, and I like that butterfly. So. I know, I like that other one too. We want the cut one. I like starting this with the cut one. It just, it works for me. The other times I've done this, of course, you know you're going to make a mistake when you're doing a video. Okay, put it over here to the side a minute. And I think what I'll do is go ahead and duplicate it and hide that. So that, whoops, hit the wrong one, didn't I guess? Okay, here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And go back to images, type in the word mandala, mandala, mandala. Let's find one. Hmm. I want to draw one. Here, let's see how this one does. It's not that intricate. No, it's not that intricate. I like the intricate ones. Woo! Oh, put, put the, the butterfly, butterfly inside this one. Let's see. And that one is a drawn one. Let's see how it does. Got to load. We're going to put this one over to the side. We may do something later with it. Okay. Get it where we can see it. Remember, needs to be under eight inches if you're putting it as an infusible ink image and then we're going to make this one a little bit larger oh that's kind of cool butterfly on the butterfly we want it inside the mandala oh you know what we have to do we have to put this to the back if we want to see the butterfly. Or did I get rid of it? I probably clicked something and got rid of it. See, it's a good thing you duplicate things. No, there it is. It's there. Where is it? Butterfly silhouette arranged bring to the front. There. Oh, it's probably my computer, guys. Lord, DB, if you could see my face right now, it's as red as a beak. Okay, we're going to center it. That's under a line. Go down here to the bottom, a line. And I actually did mine on my iPhone. Maybe that's where my problem is here. Okay. Now we are going to, can you hear my birds? They would not be saying a word if I was quiet. They're, it's the rain. They're liking the rain. 
Okay. Select, and look at there, no slice probabilities. So, oh, this has multiple layers. We want it all to be drawn. Did you see how I found that out? For those of you that are not with me, when I clicked on it up here, it said multiple, and so I had to change it to draw. Now let's put it on there. I'm going to center it again. Santa, 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 Santa. I didn't say Santa. I, just get back, kids. I didn't say a word about Santa being there. Okay. Now we have those selected. Still no slice. Mm -mm -mm. So this one may not work either. Maybe if I put this as a cut, then I put this over here and I center it again, align, center, select, still no slice. Well, now, I have not attached. Why won't you click out of there? Come on. Come on, come on. I put a new software on my computer today, and it's, I bet mean, it's messed with something. We'll blame it on that, okay? Just get it right. We'll blame it on that. We're going to, oh, you can see my face. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay, we don't want it as a cut, and it's meant to be a draw anyway. Oh, when I changed it, attached, cut, danger, can't do that. So we can't use that one. Let's go to this simpler one. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Put this butterfly in there, and let's see, okay, the mandala is a draw, and this is a cut, we're going to select them both, and then slice them, you know, I thought this would be a 15 minute video, yeah, okay, that's looking more like it, I'm not sure though, Something still looks funny. Yeah, I think I'm having some issues. I think I may have to start this whole video over. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is the slice result right there. So now if I go back... Let's get rid of all this mess. It doesn't look worth doing anything to. And let's get that butterfly that I duplicated. I even see a line. I don't know where that line's coming from. Okay, get that one that I duplicated. Unhide it. We're going to duplicate it again, though. Okay, guys? And then we're going to make it the same size as that one was. Think I can do it? Probably not. Should have duplicated it when it was that size. Note to self. Duplicate correct size. I'm not writing that down. Would y'all write that down for me, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, now if I can just get that one 
to select again. Okay, we got to go over here and select it. Wrong one. This one. See what's gray? It means it's selected. And then we're going to enlarge it just a little bit more. That got it. That's as close as I think I can get today. I know it's a little bit off there. But you've got my point. I wonder if I said center. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There goes Santa Claus again. He says, you're not being a very good girl, Trisha. That's pretty close, guys. We're going to leave it at that. That is very, very close. Now, you want to group it? Group it. Attach it. Then when you go, oh, my main thing before I go to make it is mandala. Oh, and there's one other thing I haven't done. Because it'd be cutting that butterfly right out of there. Wouldn't it? Draw butterfly. So, should have done that before I grouped it. Who wasn't here to tell me? See, if I was live, y'all could have said, wait, Trisha, wait, wait. Okay, so we got to do this. And we're going to ungroup it. Well, now it's not letting me. Why won't it let me? Oh, because it's attached. i got to detach it. Detach. Then I got select again. Ungroup. There's a step by step instructions on things. But you know what? If you do it wrong, you can always go back and undo it. That's what that little arrow right there is for. An arrow. Okay, not error. Arrow. Okay. Here we go. What have I got to do to this one that's over here? I'm not going to do it to that one I duplicated. We want to get rid of that one right now. We are going to hide it. Okay. We are going to click on this one. See it selected it. We are going to make that a draw. And then we're going to change it to blue. We could then select them both, attach. Uh-oh, can't group it now. So if I size it, uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't like doing it that way. I'm going to group it just in case I detach it sometime or the other. They will still stay together. So I'm going to group and attach. Now, I've heard it said you don't have to do that. But the way I play around, instead of, that's just the way my brain works. It experiments with stuff, or it forgets the step-by-step -step on what to do first. I'll put that extra step in there. It's not going to hurt anything if you don't. I mean, if you do it, it won't hurt a thing. So... Normally, you put words on top of an image or something like that. Then, then uh, you, all you have to do is attach on top of a shape, I should say. And it's going to stay there when you go to make it. Okay, we have made some changes, so I need to click on Save. It would not give me that option. And then I'm going to click on Make It. But because my ugly face is in the way, you couldn't see me print on make it. Now, what's it doing? It's drawing, and that's all it's going to do. And when I go over here to continue, 
Remember, if it's got a word in it, you need to mirror it. Because I'm using infusible ink. But this is a symmetrical image with no wording. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh-oh, something's been turned off. And don't give up on me yet. I got another tip to give you. I got another tip to get. Right. Anyway, just a minute. Let it connect. I'll be so glad when I can get a joy and it'll say joy right up there. Okay. Remember, if you're doing this with infusible ink and it's not one of your choices up here, you don't have to search paper. Search laser. Looky there. Looky there. Laser. Laser copy paper. Now, why do we use laser copy paper with infusible ink? Because heat makes the ink turn into a gas and infuse into your material that you are using, which needs to be a high percentage of polyester. Now, I'm going to be putting it on one of the Cricut bags that I've had sitting in my cabinet for a while. And anyway, so we've chosen it. It's got a check mark right there. If I had space for it, I'd click this little star right here and it put, put it on my list. I'm going to click done. And here it's even telling me load that blue pen first. Okay, here's where my tip is. Hold on. I'm going to switch it to another camera. Overhead camera? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. Your infusible inks come in two different sizes. A 1.0 and a 0.4. You want it to be a 0.4 when you draw unless you want it to look yucky like this now i could go ahead and color all that in and fix this and use it if i didn't want to waste it but it's just a little bit of ink i know that's expensive ink so i may do it knowing me i'll save it until i'm bored one night and i'll get it out and fix it now that was this size pen Right here, right here, 1.0. This one that you're seeing is the 0.4. That's a smaller, finer tip. Do you want to look at that? I mean, we've already gone this long. We might as well. 33 minutes, and I'll compare it to the purple. Both of these have been used. I know I need to make one of those things, Melody. I'm sorry. Okay, let's look at this. 0.4. Let's see the difference in those sizes? If you're wanting it to be an intricate design on your infusible ink, use the 0.4. If you want it to be blurred together, which on this butterfly it might work out that, can, that okay, you know, then use the 1.0. Okay. Now, I will talk more about that when I make the video. I'm putting it on the bag. And... You can see this on your pens if you take them out of the package. Whoa, focus, sesame, focus. There we go. Almost for that split second. Did you see it? Okay. That's 
split second, the .04 has it on there. The one in small print. Let's see if we put this under it. 1.0. It's on the opposite side of your big print. Okay? Just a little tip there. Most of you probably know that on all of your Cricut pens are like that. As far as having the size. Okay, we're not going to make this today because this video was supposed to be like 15 minutes and it's ended up to be uh, 35 minutes. So, uh, see, midnight point four is the additional tool because that's what I marked it for. Did I mark? No, that's what it came out as because the Mandela was already a... Uh, Let's cancel. Yes, cancel. It was already. We didn't have to do anything to it. And because I've already got them grouped together and attached and everything, it's not going to show it. So to show it, I've got to ungroup it. And I will put this over in ungroup. And I'm just clicking on, see right there. Point four. And while I'm here, I'm going to click on that butterfly. I have to go over here to do that. Click on that color, point four. I'm putting it in blue. Okay, so your machine now will tell you. Oh, Lordy, I did. I got to do it over. Yeah, this is why I should have a better signal. Okay, right here. Let's rewind. Okay, I detached it. I ungrouped it. This one is a point four midnight. This blue one, click on it. So point four blue. You know what? Something else somebody told me. Looky there. Looky there. And I forgot to do that on my other one. I'll have to go fix that. Over here it says infusible ink. What's the name of that black one? Oh well, I'll fix this. You can go get it in Patreon. And for both the Dragonfly, Fly, and the Butterfly, I will have them uh, as infusible ink pens as long as it's in that list. You're welcome. Appreciate y'all for watching today. Please watch a couple other of my videos. Let's get some views up. And convince me that I should continue to make videos. Because I'm telling you now, guys, I'm telling you, I have list and list and list of things I want to make videos about. And this whole year has just, I fell apart when dad passed away. And so I've got to get back into it. I enjoy it too much. I've missed it too much. And I'm talking to this TV over here instead of the camera over here. I love y'all very much. Please watch a few more of my videos. Uh, let me know, you know, let me know that it's worth my time to help y'all. Uh, I have too much fun doing it. So, until the next one, I'll see you then. Don't forget, detours still lead to your destiny. No matter what happens in your life, people. And I'm not preaching to you, but it's so very true. 
you can change it. You can change it with your attitude and turn things around and then will still lead to the destiny that you are meant to have. Till then, check me out on Huntress Habits on all our social medias and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Much love. Bye-bye.